This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News in the Star Gazette. A brawl involving a baseball bat has landed one person in the hospital and another in police custody in Elmira. Multiple police officers were called out to Gray and Grove streets when a fight broke out last night. They say about 20 to 25 people were involved. Officials say one woman was taken to Robert Packer Hospital with injuries and another was taken into custody by the town of Elmira Police Department. But as of early this morning, police didn't have an update on that information, nor do we know the cause. We'll keep you updated as more information is released. A burglary at an Elmira home led police to the man responsible for a string of subway restaurant robberies. Police took 28-year-old Charles Cooper of Elmira into custody after responding to a reported home invasion on Durland Ave around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. That's when Cooper confessed to the home burglary and both Wednesday nights and yesterday morning subway robberies in Elmira and Horseheads. He's charged with third degree robbery, but additional charges are expected. He's expected to be arraigned in Elmira City Court this morning. There will be a whirlwind of activity in Wellsboro this weekend as the 75th Pennsylvania State Laurel Festival wraps up with some big events. There is something for everyone in the family to enjoy. There will be arts and craft vendors, music, lots of food on the green, plus 10K foot race or two mile fun run on Saturday. And it all leads up to the big parade at two o'clock Saturday and the coronation of the 2016 Pennsylvania State Laurel Queen at 630 Saturday night. And WENY will be marching, so make sure to wave hello during the parade. And if you see a floating piece of cardboard in Seneca Lake on Saturday, it's probably not trash. It's actually a competitive boat. What better way to spend Dad's Day weekend than at the 23rd annual Cardboard Boat Regatta? From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, you can check out all of this year's cardboard creations along the Concourse de Cardboard. You can vote for your favorite boat and bribes will be will benefit the spirit of Skylar, a volunteer organization that helps county residents during an emergency. And at 2 p.m., the boaters set sail for the 23rd edition of the nearly famous cardboard boat regatta. Good luck to all the boaters and don't forget all the activities are free, including parking. Looks like a lot of fun. Now here's Craig Flint with today's forecast and this weekend's, which is going to be hot. Yeah, it's actually going to feel pretty good in the harbor on Saturday. Uh, with temperatures surging well into the 80s today. No slouch though 81 sunshine for those puffy fair weather clouds and then overnight tonight skies will be mainly clear. The stars low of 52 forecast today. Northern tier starting with some clouds this morning. They are settling south and then skies will become partly to mostly sunny. I think there should be a good deal of sunshine with highs here in the low 80s. Now we do have a little bit of fog to begin the day over the southern tier and also into the Finger Lakes, but fog should lift here by 9 o'clock and then sky should be mostly sunny with highs in the low 80s. So we had one little area low pressure that uh, is now down to the south and uh, moving off the mid-Atlantic coast. High pressure coming in from the north. That's going to provide us with more sun today, but what's occurring uh, in the center part of the country, a very strong ridge of high pressure in the atmosphere and underneath that ridge temperatures are really warming up and we've been advertising it here on the webcast all week that a piece of that heat that's building in the center part of the country will be heading in our direction as we head into the weekend. So 81 today, and there you go, 85 Saturday for dear old dad Sunday, sun, and uh, flirting with 90. There's some of that heat bubble, that ridge making its way to the east. I think lower 90s on Monday for the first day of summer. Summer solstice occurs 634 in the evening. Sun crosses the equator. We point towards it. That means summertime, and it's going to feel it. Storms and showers Tuesday 80. Fresh and cool diet summer air by Wednesday, Thursday. Highs in the mid 70s. Leanne. Good. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day and a great weekend and a happy Father's Day.